Existing prosthetics place sensors in the socket of the prosthesis, and they use those to control, say, the hand or the wrist. But some of the newer generation of prosthetics can be socketless, so they no longer have a place to put these electrodes in these sensors. And so we're developing these sensors in a wireless form so they can be placed directly on the arm and communicate wirelessly to the prosthesis. Two of the most important aspects of prosthetic technology for upper limb wearers would involve the comfort and fit of the socket as well as the comfort and fit of the harness. And those are two very important reasons that people abandon use of a prosthesis. And this is where the wireless control system can make a huge difference because those sensors can be placed anywhere and it's regardless of what a socket or socketless system can appear to offer. So it offers greater opportunity to those potential users and likewise offers a lesser chance of rejection. So we've been working now for about four or five years with Liberating Technologies. Work done both at their facility and here at WPI and putting the best aspects of what we can contribute to the project to make devices that are better for these prosthesis users. Well, I actually got involved in this research as an undergraduate here at WPI where I got my electrical engineering degree and we wanted to develop technology, use our engineering skills to help other people. And the prosthesis problem was one that just interested us, where we could apply those skills and help people to be able to improve their use of the arm and get more function. I've been in and out of the field many times, but I'm glad to be back in the field and working on these technologies and trying to now get them out of the academic lab and actually into prosthetic devices.